after you! Cause I- I threatened their life! <laughs> Hi, this is me. You're probably wondering how I got here. Well, it's a long story. Right, yeah, we lie. And we see our name. And right as you curve in the alleyway, there's uh, a, a cloaked short man who's standing there holding this pouch. And right as you turn the corner and look at him, he kind of throws it towards you. Uh-oh. I mean, I fucking, I lunge at it. Like a cat jumping at a mouse toy. Yeah, you just like, in your mouth, and it's at that point that you're, the transformation begins to kick in instinctually as the hunger sets in. Like some sort of a, a collection of, of, of almost like a medicinal uh, texture, but it, it smells so good, but the taste is different what you expected. And the minute that you kind of take it in your mouth, you kind of look up at the figure with your mouth filled and like kind of spitting this out, and he throws this net over you. Oh, no! This like yeah. shiny sheen of a metal cable net. Uh-uh. <laughs> Not silver. This is a problematic cursed beast, and I'm gonna bring him in. Two yin sends her regards and begins to pull you into Who? this like. Two? Two now, any of these seem to fly your fancy? Yeah. That long one right in the middle, what's the handle made of? It is made of the finest wood. Hmm. I just need the one. How much for just this one? Well, this is uh this is imported. This is some this is a fine tool. Found its way after many years from craftsman to craftsman. It is responsible for the development of many of the Mahan house uh how much for the set? <laughs> Full set? Full set? I'll give it to you for, because uh, you seem like a, like a driven fella. About a uh, 10 gold. Oh, <laughs> God. 10 gold? Yeah. Seven gold, five silver, and we'll call it even. <laughs> I didn't catch your name. Hmm. My name is Tuyan. To you, Natwana. And I run this establishment. Welcome, and thank you for being a patron of the Purism Emporium. Oh no, Tua. Thank you. <laughs> what is it? Shing, shing. Two chisels out. Okay. I'm gonna start going up the side towards the awning, please. I'm fucking going in. Okay. Grinch style, feet on one end, and I'm gonna shimmy down. He's planning a double twisting, interrupted four, flying two and a half with a combo tuck and pike. High degree of difficulty. It's not a fireplace, it is a wood burning stove base. Oh, shit. And you shit. come tumbling out of the iron base of it. Um, I'm smelling for one in particular person. Uh, make a perception check. Natural 20. Should have held these for later, but fine. Come on! This is bananas. I will creep, covered in soot, cloak down towards. I'm sorry. Your door was closed. Uh, oh my god. Whoever's here, um, I don't want any trouble. Oh, the mug is now like visibly shaking in her hand and she's looking around. Someone shop should be like their own. You should feel safe. Please don't hurt me. There was a time years ago where I would have just sat by my lonesome <laughs> and hated you from afar. But there's a different side of me now. And he wants to <laughs> <laughs> and you see the fucking werewolf just <laughs> running, like vaulting over one of the shelves that tumbles and shatters a bunch of knickknacks and various things onto the ground. And she is like running on the other side of the room, just like full on trying to get the hell away from you. She's like, <laughs> I love a chase. <laughs> Like, like Alien 3, just drool coming out of the teeth right up in her face. <laughs> Let this be a warning. Charge fairly for your ways. 
and I'll slash across her arm. <laughs> I would like to use, if I can, or well, I don't know if he can get in there, fiery teleportation to get him out of there. Uh, is that through you or is that through? It's through Mister. Mister. So you can want to move Mister to him to do that. Yes. Uh, you walk up and kind of approach as Mister kind of darts out from behind, grabs onto you within the net, and in this burst of flame, the net collapses to the ground. And you and Mister both appear 15 feet behind. Yeah! I think that shopkeeper wanted revenge. <laughs> For what? Well. I kind of, I kind of went back and threatened them for overcharging me for a pair of chisels. 